In this video, I want to introduce the new database feature of cell and cell DNA. But first, let's review the basic functions of the browser. It's really easy to add clips from folders and files in the browser, and when you want to organize them in a particular way, you can move them around in edit mode. However, files and folders are sort of a dated concept, born in the 80s as a way to help people make the transition from the office to the computer. These days, we use computers pretty differently. Files are things in email, or a picture in Facebook, or a document on Google. The way to get these things today is by search. So with that in mind, we made the database feature in Cell and Cell DNA. With the database, you can organize your clips according to what they mean to you, without any limits. For example, if you tried to organize all your clips on a hard drive according to mood, color, theme, or content, you would have to either make lots of copies or make complicated folder names. Many clips could be used in different situations, and you would invariably get confused. Furthermore, you would end up with a lot of folders that you'd have to examine individually to determine what you wanted. With the database, you can describe each clip, and even folders of clips, according to all possibilities. Let's take a look at some examples. Take a look at this clip of a sea anemone. There's a few ways to describe it. It's in the sea, it's kind of creepy, it's in nature, it's greenish, and maybe kind of calming. You may have also shot it at a particular time and place, in this case, San Francisco in California in 2009. If we create tags and comments around these descriptions, we'll be able to pull it up instantly using the database, and then add it to the grid. We can do the same for files in the browser. I'll go ahead and tag a whole folder with some common descriptions, then I can drill down and add more detail. Now, let's find some clips and see how easy it is to do. If you work with a lot of DJs or acts, you may need to pull up the right clip with a little preparation. So if you have these clips labeled, in a way that makes sense to you, and in a way that can describe the things you want, then you'll be able to create combinations and get the clips you need when you want them. So that's it for the database feature. It's pretty simple to use, and you can tag clips how you want them, and make sure that you always get the things you want.